All right, so what's going on, guys? It looks like we have new Legends and Mutt. Sam Madison and Kevin Mawai are in packs. Let's go check them out real quick. Damn, Kevin Mawai's freaking 48-hour card, which, again, basic stats, but the double chemistry. He's actually going for 196K. That's a lot cheaper than I thought he'd be going for. I think this is the first time he's been back in Mutt since Mutt 13. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really remember, you know, using him in Mutt 13 because I didn't really play that much. I mean, I was playing a lot, but I didn't play as much as I do now. But Kevin Mawai impacts with 48 hours, 89 strength, 92 run block, 88 pass block, 93 impact blocking, 92 awareness, 88 strength, 65 speed, and 91 agility. Okay, in terms of his blocking stats, I mean, you could probably find better in an elite now. In a base elite, that's a lot cheaper. So I'm not really crazy about his stats. Maybe you could have bumped up that pass block also to a 90 or 91. But the uh, chemistry is actually something pretty good. And now Sam Madison, his double chemistry is going for 396,000 coins. Base card is going for 260,000. Sam Madison, I, the name sounds so familiar. I just don't remember. I don't know who he is. I really don't know who he is, but the name does sound familiar. Legend for the Miami Dolphins. He's actually completely new to Mutt, so that's actually really interesting. 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 agility. 90 man coverage, 92 zone, 88 press, 90 player, and 75 catching. Not that bad of a coverage card. And the chemistries he comes with in the double chemistry cards is lockdown and pick specialist. And there you go. Those are the boost coverage right there. That's actually really good. I would actually go after this card if you're going to go for the chemistries for lockdown and pick specialist because the plus one to man zone and press would actually really help out a lot of corners. So I'm pretty much probably going to be playing myself right here, but we have 50,000 coins. We're going to dive into packs. Have not bought packs in a while with coins. So here we go. Maybe we can get ourselves a new legend. That'd be actually pretty dope. If we can get a 48 hour legend, I don't care who it is. That would be a come up for real. And uh, all right, we get a gold card there. Hey, we got ourselves finally an alternate uniform. Dolphins throwback to the 2000s. That's a sign. Sam Madison playing in the 2000s. It's a sign. We about to pull Sam Madison. Let's keep pulling. Even if we get a collectible, that'd still be really good. Come on. I'm looking for Sam Madison. If we can get a 48-hour Sam Madison card, that would be dope. We just pulled the throwback unis. It would be fitting if we can get ourselves a Sam Madison. Legend speed through it, and we don't. We just get another Mutt Tip and Jonathan Cyprin. Damn. And look, if you want my opinion on the Panthers game, I already said it on Twitter. The refs... That was just horrible. How do you get hit in the head five times if you're Cam Newton? Not get a single yard off those things, except it gets offset by intentional grounding. That's some, nah, that's bull. But either way, the game was really good. Graham Gano had to miss that final kick. That was heartbreaking. But either way, it is week one, so you got to work out the king somehow and no elite. But we get Kyle Rudolph tight end. Two thousand years late. So far, we have gotten nothing out of Pro Packs. No Sam Madison. No nothing. I just want... Can we get ourselves a Legend collectible? Can we get a Flashback collectible? Can we get something good? I have not gotten any good pull... Dwayne Brown's actually pretty nice. All right, here we go. Again, another Pro Pack. We need to see... Like, can we get something good? Will Beatty, really? Why do you have to... So we're pretty much going to get nothing in this pack, right? Yep, nothing in here. We get a Will Beatty to start off. Wow. Not gonna lie, Pax have been pretty brutal this year. I've not gotten one single legit elite pull. I th I don't even think I've gotten one single legit elite pull. We get a Marcus Gilchrist right there. Come on, really? A Marcus Gilchrist? What? All right, so we can't end the pack opening off like that. Let's just get into this elite legend pack. All right, I, I was really contemplating not buying this, but I don't know. We can just dive into it. No, God, please, no, no. So we pretty much get one legend player good for 10 or more games, one legend collectible, and one elite player cannot be auctioned or traded. That's all right. Also includes one gold, silver, or bronze player, and four team items. If we can get something good. No! Starting off with a stadium for the Bills and... Ooh, okay, all right. There goes another uh, team item right there. That's three team items. Okay, let's get it out the way. And here we go, our elite... Brandon Marshall. Our elite is Brandon Marshall, 86 overall middle linebacker. I actually love using this card. I have been using this card uh, in Draft Champions a lot. He's really good. And, oh, look, if I want to, I can add him to the Week 1 Elite Exchange set. I don't know what that means, but I'll take a look at that in a minute. So, moving on right here, our next card is Mohamed Sanu. That is our one gold, I think, we get. Or do we get four golds? I don't remember. We get a silver... Oh, what's this? What's this? Rainitsky collectible. Okay, so I might knock out his set soon if I can come up on some coins or sell it, depending on how much it's going for. Probably nothing since the topper in the bundle is a legend item. We get a Mutt Tip item, and it looks like here's our Legend card. 
Here's hoping. Boy, if you don't get- If we can get ourselves a wide receiver legend or a quarterback John Elway so we can use in head-to-head -head seasons, that would be perfect, my gods. That would be great. Please. All right, who do we get? Let's just go right into it. Our legend player is Marvin Harrison. Let's go. Limited use Marvin Harrison, 91 overall. I will take that. Instantly going to be using him. So Marvin Harrison with 89 speed, 94 catching, 83 elusiveness, 90 spectacular catch, 85 release, 94 route running, 88 catch of traffic, and 89 jumping. So this is something cool. He could be used for 30 solo challenges or 15 head-to-head -head seasons. I like that. They said 10 games. They were lying. This Brandon Mar uh, excuse me, Marvin Harrison. I said Brandon Marshall. God damn. This Marvin Harrison is definitely going to be added to the squad. I'll take that. But for $10, guys, I'm not going to lie, this is quite honestly not the move, in my opinion. Unless you do want to add that guaranteed elite or legend to the squad, I mean, hey, it just, it's up to you. But $10 is not that bad of a price. Okay, so for those wondering what the Week 1 Elite Exchange Pack is, you basically can give up to any elite players, which, by the way, I have learned... Uh, from a man, Evan, on Twitter, he was saying that you can actually use some of the limited-use players like AP, DeAndre Hopkins, and all them, and put them into this set, and you're also going to need an elite badge. So this is actually pretty interesting. Pretty much, guys, every single one of these elites, except for Marvin Harrison, is be able to be added to the set. So that includes Von Miller, uh, Josh Norman, Cam Newton, the Aaron Donald they gave you, AP, every single one of them. So once those contracts run out, you can add them into here, get yourself an elite badge, and you get yourself an auctionable or tradable elite. Either way, guys, that is it for the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the new legends for this week. And if you liked the video, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more content for the channel, go and hit that subscribe button. I'm Mark, and as always, take it easy, y'all, and have a safe one. Peace!